Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today for you guys, we have a crazy awesome hogger list which uses Holy Nova. So this is a first in the uh, Warcraft Rumble hogger lists. So yeah, we are going to jump into a deck breakdown. But just before we do so, guys, please, if you enjoy the content, make sure to like and subscribe. It helps out a lot. And I'm going to be making so much more content for the game. So if you want to be here along for the ride, just click subscribe down below. But uh, without further ado... Let's jump into it. Check it out. So in this list, we run Hogger, the Murloc Tidehunters, the Quillbor, the Griffin Rider, Holy Nova, the Safe Pilot, and the Harpies. So guys, yeah, this is an awesome list. Um, so Holy Nova is obviously the new addition to the list. And the main idea is to help our Hogger reach that tower and actually get more slaps on that main enemy base so we are going to cycle our hogger if you guys don't know hogger has the ability of every time he gets played his uh, movement and attack speed increases increases 35 percent so every time he is played and i think it stacks up to three times and uh yeah so hogger is going to be extremely good when we play him in a cycle list <clears throat> so a cycle list is a list where we play a bunch of cheap stuff so we can go back to hogger as many times as possible. When we are actually gonna have our Hogger at uh, max stacks, he's gonna be a monster on the battlefield, moving so quickly and attacking so quickly. And plus, when we pair our Hogger with Ham Hawk, he's also gonna get 10% extra max health every time he is played. So he's gonna become even stronger at that max stack. So yes, we are gonna play Ham Hawk for his attack. So um, Hogger is a melee damage dealer, but he actually swipes in front of him. So he has some AoE damage uh, in front of him. And uh, this is going to be extremely useful because it's going to be extremely hard for your opponent to defend with uh, anything other than a melee single target unit. So Hogger is extremely strong. And then we have a lot of stuff to deal with those uh, melee single target units uh, in the rest of our deck. So the first other unit we have here is the Murloc Tidehunters. So the Murloc Tidehunters, once again, obviously they are two goals. So they are cycle minis. They are really good. Um, what the the role of the Murloc Tidehunters are in this list is to be obviously a support backline. So the Murloc Tidehunters are really good to defend, but they're also good to go get some chests because they walk super quickly. So they can pick up check uh, chests. They can uh, be splitted to put pressure in both lanes. They can bait some uh, spells like Chain Lightning, stuff like that. Uh, they're really good because they are so versatile and can deal with anything. Uh, if you really need to, because they're Swarm Minis, you can actually play the Murloc Tide Hunters and defend to like, I don't know, tank for like a Stone of Torrid or something like that. So Murloc Tide Hunters, extremely, extremely good in this list. Personally, I, I run the um, Morlocks Talent, which uh, deploys an additional Murloc uh, every time so we are going to have three instead of two but the uh, safety bubble talent is extremely extremely good a lot of people rather play this one because it uh, counters stuff like chain lightning very very easily or, or safe pilot stuff like that so murloc tide hunter is extremely good extremely good unit basically all of the cycle units are extremely strong that is why this list is so powerful so then we have our Griffin Rider. So our Griffin Rider, we are actually um, going to play in uh, defense first to help uh, defend, obviously, with all of those melee attack units, such as uh, Stone of Torrent, such as Cairn, such as Gromash, all of those stuff that can be extremely annoying for our Hogger to deal with, well, then our Griffin Rider will deal with extremely easily. So if we find a way to take down the backline of um, our opponents, well then uh, our Griffin Rider is going to have so much value and have a field day by destroying all of those ground units that are extremely, extremely powerful. So if you guys don't know, the Griffin Rider is a two cost goal unit that is air. So it has to be attacked by ranged units or melee air units. And um, the Griffin Rider does some physical damage by tossing her hammer onto her opponent so extremely good uh damage dealer uh, we are going to play her with the mighty throw which is going to increase the range this is extremely extremely good because of the new flame dragon turret so because of the new uh, dragon towers 
<clears throat> the um, extra range is going to make the Griffin Rider survive so much longer on the opponent's base. So, as a friendly reminder, the Dragon Tower does uh, AoE damage in, in the cone in front of him, but does way more damage at the beginning than at the end. So, at the very end of that flame, um, while well, the Griffin Rider is going to stand there and it's going to take just barely uh, any damage when attacking an enemy base. So, that's why Griffin Rider is so extremely good with the Mighty Throw talent. So I mentioned we have to de defeat the enemy backline in order for our Griffin Rider to get some value and our Hogger, hence our Hogger. Uh, well then, we are going to use the Quill Boar and our Safe Pallet to do so. So first of all, the Quill Boar. So you guys are familiar with the Quill Boar. The Quill Boar is an unbound mini, so you can play it anywhere on the map. And it's really good to deal with chests and deal with enemy backline. So you can play the Quill Boar uh, on... Uh, the enemy back backline like a pyromancer like a dark patrol something like that to uh, force the opponent's backline to attack the quill board. and meanwhile you're going to get your value from your griffin rider from your murlocs and stuff like that obviously quill board has the resistant traits so he's also very very good to tank for those uh, dragon uh, towers right now that deal elemental damage so the quill board very very good once again to like turn a tower um, the opposite direction and then we can get so much value from the rest of our deck on the enemy base So Quillbore extremely extremely good for two gold. He's one of the best unit right now in the meta um, And he's second to the safe pilot, which is our other unbound unit We are playing in this list. So the safe pilot is kind of like a spell that crashes onto enemies But deals so so much damage. So we are going to crash the safe pilot on the enemy backline, the Dark Neutral, the Pyromancer, the Necromancer, all of those uh, beautiful units are going to get destroyed by the safe pilot crashing down. And then we are going to have the uh, pilot popping out, dealing elemental damage from far away, which is extremely, extremely good. So uh, yeah, safe pilot, awesome unit, extremely good to deal with chest. So every time a game starts, I play Quillbor on the furthest chest, safe pilot on the closest chest, and uh, normally we win uh, at least one, but even two chests most of the time. So safe pallet, extremely, extremely strong. You guys keep hearing me talk about the safe pallet because it's the best unit in the game. Safe pallet and Quillboard are the two best units in the game. They are, they, they are played in every single list. So yeah, extremely, extremely powerful. And then we have our Harpy. So our Harpy kind of acts a little bit like our Griffin Rider as they are uh, air units that shred enemy uh, melee units. So um, they have pretty much the same role, but they actually do more damage than our Griffin Rider. Um, so the Harpies are deployed as a squad, a bunch of three Harpies that deal some melee damage um, from the air. So once again, to defeat the Stone of Torrent, to defeat Karen, to defeat Gromash, to defeat Prowlers, to defeat uh, Baron Riven, there's all of those tough Harpies are going to be extremely good to deal with. Um, so we play our Quillbore and our Safe Palette to protect our Harpies, and then the Harpies are going to get so, so, so much value here. And then finally, the last piece of the puzzle, which makes this deck extremely unique and extremely powerful, and it's our Holy Nova. So Holy Nova is a spell that um, costs three, but it's not only going to damage, it's also going to heal friendly units. So you play Holy Nova, it kind of acts like a chain lightning in some ways, um, but for one extra gold, you get some healing, which is extremely, extremely good because uh, a lot of the defense our opponent are going to play against their hoggers, such as, for example, Harpies or, or any other storm unit, are going to get destroyed by the Holy Nova and it's going to heal our hogger uh, back to, I don't know, half health or something like that, which is going to add so, mu so much more value from our hogger, which is already extremely, extremely strong. So for Holy Nova, if you guys want to go extra, extra deep with it, I actually play the Inner Fire Talent with uh, the Holy Nova, which uh, gives armored and uh, resist for five seconds to enemies, uh, to, to friendly units that are in the range of Holy Nova. So when we play Holy Nova on offense with our Hogger, we are actually going to give him resist and armor which is going to be extremely, extremely good because the uh, towers do some elemental damage. So our hogger will be able to get so much more hits just because they're Holy Nova, right? And uh, so it's easy to get like a lot of value with Holy Nova. You can even play Holy Novas on Harpies. That's a 3-4-3 three, three uh, trade, which is extremely good. So if your opponent has Harpies, Angry Chicken Army, uh, all of those stuff, you can kill some Murlocs. It heals a lot of stuff. Very, very, very good spell in this exact list so 
yeah, guys, this list is awesome. We've created it on stream with the help of our viewers. This is an awesome list. I'm so excited for you guys to try it. Please tell me how you feel about this list and uh, we will jump into some PvP games and we'll see you guys there. Oh, we are playing against the Baev list. All right, Quillbore. Oh, we misplayed the Quillbore. But we have the safe pallet. We're going to play our Murlocs as well. And we're going to play the Griffin Rider to help with the um, Dark Spirit or the Dark Iron Miter. Here, the Harpies are going directly to our turret, so I don't think we will address them. I think we will play the Harpies here to take care of the Quillbor as quickly as possible. And we don't even take any damage here, which is huge. We are going to try to surprise our opponent here with the Quillbor. There goes the Quillbor. Perfectly timed, might I add. We don't get the chest, unfortunately. So we try to... We are going to get more value, though. Wait, let me safe pilot that safe pilot. We are gonna Griffin Rider here. Oh, our perfectly placed Quillbor here saved our safe pilot, which will allow us to take that turret. We are gonna Holy Nova, which is gonna kill the um, kill the harpies and give health back to our Hogger. Our Hogger is arriving on the left with our. Griffin Rider. Hopefully the Griffin Rider doesn't get a hit. It doesn't. We have the the uh, Maev here, middle. So we're going to play the Quillbore to help us get the chest. We do get the chest, but there's the Worgen. We do get the turret, which is huge. Extremely huge. We're going to play the Murlocs here. We should now control the, ch the gold mines. The extra range on the uh, on the Griffin Rider is huge to control both gold mines at the same time. Our opponent does some good damage on our base or chip damage on our base, but we have so much more happening on our end of the battlefield. We have the Holy Nova to heal our Quillbore and our Hogger, and our Hogger is going to slap our way to victory here against this uh, Myavalist. All right. We are playing against a uh, Tyrion list. We are immediately going to send our safe pallet, our Quillbor. We are going to start working our Hogger. We have our Holy Nova. We will Holy Nova this. This will allow us to get the chests and um, kill the Harpies. Which is worth it, but we did take a little bit of chip damage from that safe pilot. Okay, we will play our safe pilot here. Hopefully we can get the Griffin Rider, we do. Alright, so the Tyrion does trigger his ability. Unfortunately, we missed the Miner. We are going to play our... Griffin Rider, we are going to send a, another Miner on the left. Yeah, well, thank you for the follow. Um, Alright. There's our Miner. We'll play our Murlocs. We will drop our Hogger down the middle. We'll split our Harpies, send our Miner on the left. We want to rotate back to our next Hogger. We'll play our Quillbor here on the right, just to tank, just in case uh, we have a Harpy or a uh, Safe Up that survive. we do. We send our Hogger down the middle to get chests. A Griffin Rider here to take care of the Quillbor. So our opponent is playing Harpies. Um, but as of yet, 
He already played his Quillbore, so he won't be able to do the Quillbore Harpies combo. Will Holy Nova the Hogger just get so much damage on the enemy base? We're gonna send our Miner in the meanwhile. I already played the um, safe path, but our, our Griffin Riders should be able to take care of it. We're gonna send another Hogger here. And then a Quillbore to tank for the Murlocs and the Hogger. I wouldn't play the Stone of Turin to defend. So the Hogger gets taken care of, or the opponent's Tyrion gets taken care of by our Hogger. And here it is. We are gonna win right here with the Holy Nova against, this time, a Tyrion list. All right, we are playing against a Chalga list. We are gonna play our Hogger middle, our safe pilot, our Quillbore a little bit further back actually. Can our Hogger take care at least of the Prowler? We do. Our opponent is playing Warsome Grunt, so we are gonna play our Harpies here. And then once the Huntress connects, we will play our Griffin Rider. To take care of that Huntress. Our opponent is playing his Charlga on the right, so we are going to play our Hogger immediately and our safe pilot. There it is. We are going to send our Miner. Our opponent is playing some more Warsong Grunts, so we're going to play some more Harpies. We'll play our Murlocs to deal with the Huntress. Our opponent is dealing quite a bit of damage on our main base here. We will keep our gold. Wait for perhaps a chest to spawn to play our Quillbore. Line them up. Wait for our opponent's move. We'll play our Griffin Rider here. And then we'll play our uh, Hog here to deal with the Huntress. And then there goes a the chest, so we'll play our Quillboard here. If our Hogger can take care of the Prowler, it does it unfortunately. We'll play our safe path in that case and our Harpies. We'll take a little bit more damage here, but now our Hogger should be in a great position. I can't believe this is a child guy list and we are struggling. All right, we are gonna Holy Nova right here all right we're gonna play the griffin rider down the middle and we are gonna save pilot here hopefully we can take down the huntress we do all right and we are gonna send our hogger but we will take a little bit more damage now we can play our quillbore middle our miner on the left And we have our Holy Nova at the ready. So the Chalga play to counter the Hogger is actually pretty good here. But we just have so much more gold than our opponent that doesn't seem like our opponent can do anything here. We play our Quillbore here on the far left. And we will cycle to our Holy Nova and get the win just like that. All right, we are playing against a uh, Sylvanas list now. We are gonna play our Quillbore as well because uh, if we don't, our opponents will get the chest. Now we won't play the Hogger as of yet because we don't control the middle right now. Okay, we can play. I don't think the Holy Nova will help us. So unfortunately we do get, we'll play Holy Nova here. At least we killed the Miner. We could play the Murlocs. We will send the Murlocs to the right as they will probably deal with the Harpies. There it is, huge. Okay, we will send our 
Griffin Rider and our Hogger here. Hopefully we can get there in time to get the chest. We do get, maybe we get even the second one, which would be insane. Which would be great. All right, we are going to safe ballot the Sylvanas. All right. Now we move in. We move in. We need to take care of the Harpies. We send our Hogger here. Our Miner. We want to cycle back to our important targets. Our opponent plays the Quillbore on our Miner, which is completely fine with us, I, I believe. Their Griffin Rider with the extra range is so good. We played the Holy Nova. We wish we could have healed the Griffin Rider, but I guess we don't. There you go. Hogger is going to slap that safe pilot out of this map. We are going to safe pilot ourselves. Now we send a Murloc down the middle while he's distracted. Because we want to get that chest. Our opponent does get the other one. But we have such an advantage here if we play our cards correctly. We could Holy Nova the Quillbore and take the win just like that. Let's go Quillbore. We Holy Nova, we kill the Harpies, and we are going to take the win here against Sylvanas. All right, we are playing against the Baron Rivendare list. All right, we are sending our Miner, our Safe Pilot, and our Quillbore. We could Holy Nova here. I think we will. We did take care of the Murlocs, which is good. We're going to wait for um, everything to arrive middle to play our Hogger to engage under our tower. We can play the Griffin Rider here. Take care of the ghoul and that one skeletal mage. Our opponent is already creating an offensive. So there is a huntress, but we and the gargoyle, but we do have the harpies, which will take care of the gargoyle extremely easily. We play the uh, hogger middle to get that chest. We did play our holy nova in order to help us with this battle. We want to take care of that miner. And now we should go on the offensive. We're going to play the quill board to hope to kill that single skeletal mage. Okay. We do a lot of damage to the huntress. She might get a single hit, but our tower... Oh my god, our tower doesn't even kill the um, Huntress in one hit. Alright guys, now we need to go on the offensive. We really need to. So we are going to send Murlocs down the middle. We could play our Quillbore further back so that we get maybe time to get the second chest, but perhaps not. We should. We do. We send our Griffin Rider. We are going to... Holy no, it doesn't work. Oh my god. This is bad. This is bad. This is horrible. Okay. We now know our opponent is running the Banshee. So we will be careful with our um, Quillbore. Alright. Our Quillbore just stopped attacking in the middle. Okay, safe pilot here. Griffin Rider, we want to want to cycle to the uh, Quillbore. We are going to play the Quillbore here on the left. There it is. We have our Hogger. We are going to send our Miner here. We missed the Holy Nova, unfortunately. We had to deal with defense before playing our Holy Nova. 
which might cost us the game. We're going to defend here with our hogger. Okay. We send our miner. Can we take care of the huntress? Yes. This is huge. Okay, I think we did take the lead here with this hogger. So we can we are gonna send the other hogger now that our opponent just played the banshee. I think we'll play our Quillboard here. Just a tank for the Huntress. We're gonna Holy Nova. We can send another Hogger. We have so much pressure. And here we are gonna take the win. Just like that against the Baron Riven there list in overtime. Hey, thank you so much for watching the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed the list. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys do enjoy the content. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and bye guys.